30 minutes put back on the clock here for Tyler Wright and Paige Sheriff. They've been on deck all morning. Tyler Wright, a two-time world champion. Also a champ of this event here at the main break of Margaret River. And Paige Sheriff has also won out here before, back when it was a qualifying series event. And that final with our very own Rosie Hodge. Yeah, Paige, uh, you know, back on tour, obviously, for uh, off tour for a little while, back on again. But she's surfing incredibly well. And main break Margaret River really does suit her style of surfing. Very similar to the Bronte McCauley sort of approach. So we saw what kind of damage Bronte did this morning. Let's see if Paige can uh, follow that uh, suit. But she's got Tyler Wright. She's one of the best out here. When they're down there, they know exactly what they're looking for. Finally, Tyler getting things started. Grab rail, front side hook. She disappears in the whitewater to come out once again. Looking to get a second option before this wave goes dry under the rocks. Good for that first move, though, to take an early lead. Yeah, beautiful maneuver from, uh, from Tyler. She's so solid on her feet. And uh, to get that first big turn out, out of the way, really important here. And you can see just disappearing in the white water. So that's about as critical as it gets. And try and fight with that white water here at Margaret River. A lot of the time you'll get unhinged, but Tyler Wright, so solid on her feet, powers out of that uh, maneuver. See how she just drives off it, touching the rail with her hand, and then extending the back leg, going right back into the white water, Joe. So critical stuff there from Tyler Wright. I think she realized that there wasn't going to be a lot on offer on that wave, so really needed to nail that first turn to get a good score. And was able to recover out of that rebound section. 4.5 for one big move for Tyler. Harib's turn to showcase the backhand. Nice clean takeoff. Jams it hard off the lip. Gets more speed out of that turn. And starts seeing the rock showing up right in front of her, and she's able to sneak in a second option. A fair answer back from Paige Harab to Tyler Wright. Looking for a 4.51 for the lead. She'll be dry docked now. Grabs her board. First thing they check if their fins are intact. But their board's not dinged. More often than not, if Paige sees those rocks coming, she'll, she'd rather bounce off it herself than risk breaking <laughs> her magic board. You'll do everything you possibly can to save your equipment. Paige Harab on the backhand. Big turn there from the young goofy footer. And then finishes off through the inside. So a couple of uh, nice opening maneuvers for Paige. Tyler Wright scores dropping in for that one massive turn, Joe. Not a bad score for one maneuver. Paige is going to answer back with uh, a nice little score of her own. 21.50 on the clock. More waves on the way. Beautiful sunshine. Water's really warm for this time of year. We'll see a split peak sticking with Tyler on the right. A big blast on the oncoming section. Had a carve before that. She'll fish around for the white water on that front side carve and jam it one more time. Through the turbulence, Tyler doesn't mind hitting it right over the rocks. So multiple sections to work with for the two-time world champ. And we did have Paige Herb on the split. Goofy Foots love going left pots. <laughs> Her top two. Tyler Wright starts nicely. Nice and smooth. See how much, it's a lot, lot more vertical on the face of the wave here on the right-handers. So Tyler opting to stick to the rights and uh, producing a series of big turns. And that's going to be a nice score for Tyler Wright. I think it's going to be at least two points better than her last wave. So Tyler starting to crank it up. Harder to really get those big maneuvers going. It offers length of ride, but that doesn't really come into play anymore. You can see Paige going around this section. Nice opening turn there from Paige, and then just kind of gets swallowed up in the white water. You know, we want to see that progressive surfing. We want to see something special. Paige now switching back to her backhand hook. Needs a 6-7-3 here for the lead. Nice setup snap. Bottom drops out. She tries to hang on to a big finish, but she's down. Yeah, just wiping off a bit too much speed there. She needed a bit of projection out of the lip on that last maneuver. So it's going to be an incomplete ride again for uh, Paige Harib and back to the drawing board for her. But yeah, uh, Every once in a while there's a subtle difference, but right, that's about as close as you can get to repeating a wave. Exactly right. Um, but every wave out here at Margaret River Main Break is going to be different, and that one again different. You can see how it just sucked out on that inside reef and uh, got nice and vertical, but Paige not 
managing to hang on to that one. Be cool to see how the surfers can adjust on the fly and adapt to the conditions at every venue around the world. Paddling for this one is Tyler Wright. Fun looking wave. Hard off the bottom. There's that crab rail hook again. Front side jam, but she can't hang on. Really wanted to blow the tail out on the second move. So Tyler leaving some points out there on that wave. Interesting choice of maneuvers on that first turn. Um, the front leg was really straight going through that maneuver, so kind of took a lot of speed out of her down the line. Very interesting first maneuver there from Tyler. Page in position. Our surfer from New Zealand. Big wind up off the bottom. Nice clean. Down carve snap. Jams it on the open face. Looking for another big move. Rips a solid backhand carve. Tries to hang on just enough to show the judges she had control. Potts, are you going to give her credit for the finish? I will. So <laughs> I, I will give her credit. It's total commitment there from Paige Harrow, but a lot of damage done too, and I love the entry into the wave can almost fading towards the left and then comes around the section jamming it in the pocket there so a little bit of a different tilt on that turn and again another big solid snap so three big maneuvers there for Paige Harab and yeah she had to give that away I mean that was right on that shallow reef had she stayed on any longer I think she would have uh, lost some fins but yeah riding out of that one giving it away maybe not let's touch and go that was the first ever signature film for an athlete I would love to see one of Tyler Wright but you know focusing on titles making video parts can be challenging at the same time here comes Paige Shara fresh off a 6.6 .6, and she's out of there so before we went to break she had that right with multiple turns almost got the lead Tyler trying to heat up here big sweeping hack in the pocket Able to get a finishing move for a two-turn combination. Just kind of going for those grab rail cutties on her first couple of waves. This time, yeah. nailing it right on the money. I, I think that maneuver choice uh, on that wave was way better. Because she came out of that turn with a lot of speed. I think that rail grab turn that she's doing with a straighter front leg is, is wiping off a lot of speed. It's kind of an awkward wave to do. And I much prefer the, uh, the approach on that last wave. Watch this turn here from Tyler. That's better. Just using that that upper body a little bit more and then comes into that next maneuver with a lot more speed. Tyler Wright has won her world titles in completely different ways the last two seasons. Her first title it kind of felt like a runaway title run. So we see Paige up again. Harab, solid section to work with. Throwing a big fan of spray off that car. Floats the next section. Big wind up and finishes nice and strong. She's won this event as a QS in the past so you can tell she completely understands the right-handers at main break. Yeah, she does. I like the way she just takes her time with it, too. Um, getting herself in position for that first maneuver, very important. Cranking it off the top. Just a nice flow as well. And then really throwing the tail out on that last maneuver. That felt good. She gave herself a little bit of a fist pump. So a little bit of confidence. Nice, deep bottom turn. Look at the body position too. I love the way the upper body twists before the board does. Bringing it all the way around and then just keeping that flow going with that nice little foam climb. So not a critical maneuver, the foam climb, but it just kept that down the line flow. It kept that speed going and keeping her feet in the sweet spot and then able to crank that last maneuver. So Paige Harrop really answering back to uh, Tyler Wright's wave. This is a close heat, Joe. They've been very close decisions the last couple of heats, especially following the world title race. Paddling into this one, the world champ. Layback carved to start. Has to find the pocket on the second move. Bowling end section, big blow tail. Followed up with a front side carve, so Tyler changing up her moves, throwing a lot of variety down the line. Yeah, starting to crank it up, Joe. Starting to feel that confidence. You can see a little bit more sense of urgency. She knows this is a close heat, and Paige Herb is knocking on the door. Let's have a look at Tyler's last ride. Laying back into that first turn. Getting a little bit caught up there. 
and then slide to tail. So showing some variety, combination of major maneuvers. I don't think that's going to go into her top two. She needs to better a 6.0. First turn, nice though, beautiful. Just puts that backhand in the water and jams on that foot, on that back foot, and showing a lot of power. Kind of got a little out of whack on that turn. But then fixed it up with this really this blow tail at the end here. Bang, just throws the fins out, showing complete control over her board. So yeah, I'm not seeing that change anything in this heat so far. It was a year before the men got the upgrade. 2013, she was able to make a quick final. She's up again. All set up work, looking for something big, and she'll hop out. <laughs> just looked like she was going to go for broke. Yeah. Thought we are going to see something above the lip then, Joe. I can't wait. I hope Tyler gets another chance. Needing a 6.31 for the lead. Clean backhand carve. It's already bottoming out. Unable to get an inside section. Down to a minute 55. Yeah, I was baffled with that wave selection, especially uh, knowing this set's coming through out the back. We're going to get that 6.31 on the small ones. Here we go. Tyler rolling in. Big bottom turn, layback, hack, avoiding Page on the open face. Jams it off the lip, flows over the end section and over the rocks. Absolutely charging. Already had the lead at that point, but still going for it. Now to a minute 20. I don't think it's better than a 6.27. Tyler Wright, though, have a look at this. That was just a massive turn right there for Tyler Wright. Snapping it up through the lip again. I think Tyler's going to better her situation. You know, that was just on the edge surfing. That's what the judges want to see, that. 55 seconds. Waves on the way. Paige will choose this one. Late takeoff. She'll stomp it. First turn. Rips it off the lip. Another carve down the line. Needs a finish. Attacks the end section. Pulls it off before the rocks. With 30 seconds to go, Paige trying to avoid elimination. With a couple of tough heats to kick off the year. Did she save herself here? Wow. Uh, first turn, nice. She needs something radical here. I mean, Tyler's been cranking it up. That's a good finish. She's going to better that 6.0. And I think put one of the best scores of the day on the board. So Tyler, I get in the way before. Making Paige Hare pay for that priority moment, taking a small wave. Tyler had the pick of the lot out the back and did that huge hack right in front of Harab. It's going to be a massive number, and she'll easily clinch that big win. Paige Harab will be knocked out here in the second round of competition as the Margaret River Pro continues. Coming up next, Nikki Van Dyke takes on Macy Callahan.